disguised as Princess Luciel, it was Shalza who commanded the forces of Ovis. Oberon leads his forces away to pursue Shalza, who bears an ancient ring. The conflict still dwells in his heart. Meanwhile, with Heindler departed, Rundal faces the Sanctum on its own. The Sanctum is joined by Abbot, the renowned former commander of Styrie. With his magically amplified cannon, he rains fire upon the battlefield. But Jaden and his forces manage to advance closer and closer upon Sodali. During this time, Goga secretly continues its nefarious preparations. Upon whom do they intend to turn their blades? This is the chapel. What's the matter? You get to call this beautiful place home now. Even as we speak, Ovis Castle undoubtedly suffers a fearsome assault from the army of Rundal. I can only wonder what has become of Rashina, who risked her very life to seek out reinforcements. And Shalza, who made the brave decision to remain in the castle so that I might escape. Yet here I am, protected alone by the Sanctum. I cannot help but feel the guilt nod me. <laughs> You're all heart, aren't you? I suppose that's what happens when you come from a different life to us. Is there no way we could evacuate everyone from the castle and bring them here? I would gladly relinquish it, should that be what Jaden desires. Please, I beg of you, give the people of Ovis your protection. There is not I would not do to save any of their lives. You're just as altruistic as everyone says. I've heard stories, you know. About how you brought water to the fields ravaged by a drought. Same here. I heard. You all but eradicated the monsters to stock the forest used by man and beast delight as a hunting ground. I merely did my duty as a member of the royal family. But now, I am all but powerless. Please tell me. Tell me what I can do to help. The only thing you need to do at the moment is rest. Rest? That's right. Your time to lend a hand will come soon enough. So until then... But will the castle and those within it be able to endure in the meantime? Lord Sodaly graces the battlefield with his presence to ensure that it does. In any case, for now just relax and take a load off while we take care of things. How does Princess Luciel fare? She's practically worrying herself into a malaise over her precious homeland. Those little Miss Perfect types are the worst. A request for reinforcements has been issued. Reinforcements? Did it come from Lord Sodaly? Indeed. Wait a second. Is Lord Sodaly in danger? That is unlikely. From what the messenger relayed, the battle appears to be evenly matched. Think of the reinforcements as a means to ensure Jaden's head is ours for the taking. All right then. Look after Luciel while we're gone. According to Lord Sodaly, Luciel is the one who can truly sway the fate of this war. 
But to what end will she play her part? I bear you no ill will. This is just the way of these things. You know how it is. <laughs> A mere mortal. Yet you side with the winged one. If it's answers you seek, then defeat me and obtain them. I have no intention of going down easily though, mind you. Interesting. You seem capable of backing up your words. <laughs> Alas, you'll never cut me down wielding your blade like that. Silence! And that is but one of the reasons why. <laughs> you let your rage control you, and it only serves to dull your blade. You'll cut through sweet nothing like that. You should know this. I'm sure your master never let you hear the end of it. What? Now, have at me. Who... Who are you? Just a drunk of no worldly significance. You're actually trying to split me in two! My blows were true. Of that there is no doubt. Yet... Uh, how? We've been over this. You cannot cut me down wielding your blade like that. <sighs> Yet such power from a sword arm practically devoid of anything but brute force. <laughs> I must say, I'm impressed. No wonder O took a keen interest in your potential. Why do you know my master's name? Who are you? A samurai from the east. The name is Seymour. <clears throat> so you are Seymour. My master spoke your name on many occasions. But why? Why would a samurai of the East such as yourself side with Gilgamesh? Sir Seymour, where is it that you go? To Ariale Castle, the citadel of Gilgamesh. Ariale Castle. Come, you seek the truth, do you not? This is the deity. She is the vessel unto which the oracle is given. Found you. Finally, you perish for Axia. Death to those who bar his path! I trust he's okay? It is a residual effect of the armor bestowed by Sodaly. One of the artifacts you say he created in pale imitation of the ancient relics. 
but hadn't Stern cast aside that armor some time ago? Such artifacts are engines which amplify negative emotions into great power. Yet in doing so, they corrupt both flesh and mind alike. Hmm. Is there a means to restore a corrupted mind? Yes, but it is not a simple feat. So it's that difficult to completely escape Sadly's bonds. He does not willingly part with bonds of such potential. Then, what do we do? Stern is the beloved student of an old comrade. I know I once said I would lend you my aid. But depending on the choice you make now, I may have to go back on my word. Hmm. The darkness Sodaly has sown will need to be removed. And you can do this? I will do everything in my power. But know that the treatment will be a trying ordeal. The strength of his spirit will decide his fate. To sink into the embrace of darkness, or from those depths discover the pale light. <sighs> the strength of his spirit. Commander Lucia, the only foe we have to fear is Melnia and none other. That's right. We should strike as one while we still have the advantage in numbers. <sighs> Commander Lucia! The tremors in the earth we felt earlier, they must have been made by our cannons. Since then, the vexing bombardments from the enemy have all but ceased. Which must mean the enemy artillery man was hurt, or... Perhaps they've begun to retreat. Do you think it could be possible? There is no way to be certain yet. But the number of warrior monks they throw at us has dwindled undeniably. And it looks as if the troops stationed around the fortress grow fewer as well. Then now is our chance! We can strike down Melnia and regroup with King Jaden and the main force. <sighs> Commander Lucia? Putting a decisive bullet in Melnia, then regrouping with the main force alongside King Jaden. This would be ideal. However... Uh, however? Melnia is a deadly foe, unlike any other we've faced thus far. If we attack only relying on strength alone, our division Calorum will likely suffer even greater casualties. Then, you have a more reliable strategy for defeating her. But of course. Naturally, one that involves Calorum's most honed way of doing things. Inflicting methodic and thorough pain? Exactly. Our objective was originally to capture the enemy fortress, but we now have a new priority. We must keep Melnia engaged against us, and prevent her from returning to Sadali's side. Neutralizing the threat she poses will aid in King Jaden's victory. Understood. We shall take our time and be as methodical as we must, for Calorum cannot afford to fall here. Doing so would only destabilize the superiority that Rundal holds over the other nations with its gunners. Do you truly hold Melanie's abilities in such high regard? Is it strange that I do? No, that's not what I... <laughs> you may speak freely with me. In our battles thus far, always I have sought glory beyond my worth. But not this time. The obliteration of the Sanctum is King Jaden's greatest desire. I am prepared to do whatever is demanded of me to see Sodaly deprived of his life. Even if that means casting aside my dignity and crawling through my own filth to do so. 
Our hearts are with yours, Commander. Good. Then, allow me to repeat myself. In order to ensure King Jaden puts an end to Sadali, it is crucial that we do not allow Melnia to escape. That is our one and only purpose now. It is not Kalorum's, but Rundal's victory that we strive for. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Commander! Melnia is a formidable opponent. Do not push beyond your limits, and do not let your guards down. Yes, my lady! <laughs> what is it? Do you not feel it? This strange presence. Presence? Yes, it is rather odd. I sense no direct threat or malevolence, yet something akin to a powerful conviction grows stronger and more pervasive. Could it be coming from enemy reinforcements? Reinforcements? Trust me, I am aware of how it sounds. Other than Rundal, there are forces from Hindler, Horn, Leonis, and Ovis on this battlefield. Yet it is unlikely any would side with the Sanctum. I am quite sure of this. What? Something makes you uneasy? No, just... Undeniably curious. Regardless of who or what this presence may be, the war will end the moment Sadali's head is removed from his shoulders. That is all we should focus on at this time. Truer words are rarely spoken. Shall we keep moving? Yes, let us do so. To the forces of Rundal. Hmm. That must be Raldor, the commander of their second division, Crucium. And next to him, a face likely not worth recognizing. They have gained ground quicker than expected. So. What shall we do? In regard to what, pray tell? I would be more than happy to drop a few iron surprises among their ranks to keep them under control. No, that will not be necessary. Hmm. Ever the man of poise, I see. At this very moment, I imagine I am the single thing on their collective minds. They think they command an overwhelming advantage having captured the fortress. Indeed. And thus they only focus on the sight of my back turned to them in flight. This is most satisfactory. Meaning, it will all be for naught should we draw attention to those reinforcements of yours by getting ahead of ourselves. You plan this far ahead when deciding to abandon the fortress. How absolutely diabolical. The Divine Wave shall come crashing down upon them long before they reach us. <laughs> Such confidence. By the way, both Melnia and Renel are still nowhere to be seen. You do not suppose Calorum has given them a lead-ridden introduction to the Great Beyond? One can only wonder. <laughs> you... You truly are a callous one, aren't you? 
Only because neither Melnia nor Rennell serve under my command, I assure you. So, that is the way of it, hmm? I do have my expectations of them, of course. Finally back with us. You must have been fatigued to your very limits. You're not in any pain, are you? What about the war? I suppose you could say we have reached a ceasefire. What do you mean? The second sister, Shalza, was pretending to be Princess Luciel all along. She disappeared with the ancient ring. And then the Sanctum Army appeared, to which Rundall then turned their attention. Oh, okay. You seem rather gloomy considering we were able to protect Elvis. I guess I feel like we didn't do anything. That this place just happened to not get destroyed. What's wrong with that? The end result is the only thing that truly matters in war. Uh. You may enter. Forgive my intrusion. What is the matter? Our shinobi have delivered a strange report. A strange report? What do you mean? People hailing from Horn have been spotted heading towards the battlefield in great numbers. Why would people from Horn be here? What is the meaning of this? How many are there? It's impossible to tell exactly but they likely number in the hundreds. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Your wounds are yet to heal completely. You should stay in bed and rest a little longer. I can't just lie here and do nothing. You don't actually mean to return to the battlefield, do you? Are you raving mad? Don't worry. It's not like I want to go take on the Rundle army or anything like that. I cannot condone it. Then what? Are you suggesting we just ignore this? We could dispatch Shinobi to gather more detailed information first. But what if we're too late? Are you ready to bear that responsibility? Well... Brother would say the exact same thing as me if he were here. Then, that means I have no choice but to go with you. How does that work? It would not do to let my sister-to-be face danger on her lonesome. Hmm. I'm going to cast Bio on you from behind while we're out there. That way I can watch you slowly die with every annoying step you take. Anyway... What are you going to do then, Grawl? Letting the two of us go alone may leave us with more problems than just saving our people. <clears throat> Fine. I shall accompany you as well. But you must promise me. Our mission is to ensure the safety of the people of Horn. We will do everything in our power to avoid engaging both Rundall and the Sanctum. Are we agreed? Everything in our power. Got it. Now that we're settled, time to head off! Oh? I thought I'd come check on you to make sure you're okay. Going somewhere? Just to get some fresh air. Do you mind? No. I think we should be forthcoming about this. H hey wait! We were almost out the door. We have received a report that great numbers of people hailing from Horn have appeared on the battlefield. The people of Horn? What are they doing out there? 
We know not. Reports put their numbers in the hundreds, so we decided that action must be taken. Don't tell me you plan to return to the battlefield in that condition. So what if we do? I'm being serious. If something happens out there, you may never make it back. It's not like we're heading out to wage war or anything. That is right. Our mission is to only ensure the safety of our people. I guess at this point I'm wasting my time trying to stop you. Oh, you're not as stubborn as I thought you'd be. Well, it's not my place to say this or that about the way Horn does things. But just so you know, I will be passing this on to King Mont. As you wish. I'll have the gates opened for you. Just come back immediately if matters get out of hand. Understood? We'll be fine. Truly asking too much for you to warn us before you run off? Oh. It's them. Hey, you guys! I've seen you around town before. You're from Horn, right? <sighs> hey! I'm from Horn, too. <laughs> Small world, huh? Kill... Kill you... Huh? What the...? Death... To those who... Bar his way... M may the light of the crystals guide us! Return to Lord Sada Lee. Are you all right? <sighs> that was terrifying. Not bad, girl. Inspired by fear, I assure you. Those people. They've been brainwashed by Sodaly. Brainwashed? I was left with the same impression. I imagine there will be no stopping them until they are released from the bonds that hold their minds. So what do we do then? We can't just leave them like this. <laughs> Grawl! The brainwashing is likely the result of Sodaly's sorcery. Which means we have no choice but to slay him. Absolutely not! Why? We are but three with a handful of Horn soldiers at best. Do you think we even have a chance of reaching Sodley with our meager resources? We'll never know until we try! What? That is not what we agreed upon! Like I said, we're not going to wage war or anything. That does not mean the enemy will cooperate. So, we're just going to abandon them? Do you know why Sadali is gathering these people here? I'll tell you. For the sake of war! He's going to use them as a shield to put between him and the Rundal army! I for one intend to see this through. Righteous. Grawl. You can go back to the castle if you want. Wait just a moment! I am under orders to ensure that you both make it back to Horn unscathed. What? This is news to me. They were given to me in secret by Lord Adlard himself. Hmm. I guess that means you're just going to have to come with us then, doesn't it? <sighs> Very well, I suppose it does. 
I have always been of the belief that a nation's people are its true cornerstone. Which is why I agree that we must help them, even should it require us to put our lives on the line to do so. However, we do not command a powerful force. We retreat the moment we sense immediate danger. Do I make myself clear? Deal. No objections for me. Then let us proceed. But how exactly are we going to go about this? Well, I happen to know a few things about the lay of the land around here. Huh? Is that so? Based on the direction they came from, I'd say Sadali is somewhere near that plateau over there. The problem is that cliff face is so steep that just trying to climb it will probably get us killed. Which is why we're going to go around instead. We should have far less chance of running into any Sanctum monks or Rundal troops that way too. I see. Why is it that you know so much about this area? It's not exactly the fondest of memories. But I was here a while ago when Rundal and Horn were fighting over a fortress near the border. That explains it then. First, we catch up to the rest of the people from Horn. And then? We hide ourselves amongst them and let them lead us to Sadali. And when the chance presents itself? I am sure I sound like a chamber of echoes, but you are not to do anything reckless. Understood? We know, we know. Anyway, let's get moving. You are back with us again. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> I heard what happened in a report from the troops. It seems Shalza got the better of you. The medics in the castle worked furiously to treat the wounds you sustained. Were they truly that bad? Yes, assuredly so, in fact. One small mistake in your life would have hung in the balance. Mm. Trust me when I say you should remain resting for a time. Yes. I think I shall do just that. Now, if I may ask, what is your appraisal of this war? King Oberon is at odds with his heart. Tears and pulls him in all directions. Could this be taken as an indication of his loyalty straying from Jaden? Possibly, yes. I see. I shall handle the rest, my wounded friend. For now, you need only concern yourself with recovery. Understood? As you wish. So, Oberon's idolization of Jaden has begun to wane. May the light of the crystals guide them all. 